Hello. Uh, this is Param Naveed from the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering, Comsat University, Islamabad. And I'm here to present my work at IEEE Statistical Signal Processing Workshop 2021. The title of my paper is Multivariate Signal Denoising Based on Generic Multivariate Detrended Fluctuation Analysis. Um, and my co-authors include Sidra Mukhtar, which, who is also from the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering, Comsat University, Islamabad, and Navidur Rahman, who is from the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering, Aarhus University, Denmark. So in this presentation, I will initially talk about multivariate signal denoising and the detrended fluctuation analysis. And subsequently, I'll uh, discuss the formulation of the proposed generic multi-channel detrended fluctuation analysis and the proposed multivariate signal denoising method. I will then discuss simulation results. And finally, I'll conclude the presentation. So multivariate signals are generally obtained using multi-sensor data acquisition systems, where multiple sensors are attached to a single source to um, obtain its various aspects. aspects. How um, uh, however, as a consequence of that, the resulting signals are, um, are correlated and, and hence are processed as a single multivariate signal. The data acquisition system um, is known to be the biggest um, contributor of noise in the acquired signals, uh, where significant noise is, is um, attributed to sensor electronics and uh, various types of post-processing errors. Uh, for instance, quantization error. Um, and in some cases, communication systems are also known to introduce noise. So to address this issue, denoising techniques are used um, on the raw acquired signals to minimize noise while retaining maximum signal details. Uh, the literature on multivariate uh, signal denoising uh, methods is scarce where only a few uh, multivariate signal denoising methods um, are available, which are predominantly based on uh, a discrete wavelet transform or its variants, um, where uh, univariate thresholding techniques are used to reject noise from each channel, thus ignoring the multivariate nature of noise that leads to oversmoothing and artifacts. So now I will talk about detrended fluctuation analysis because of its relevance with our work. So DFA is used to estimate scaling exponent alpha such that it satisfies the power law given in equation two for a wide range of scales, that is time periods, um, which denoted by S, uh, where f of S is the root mean square function um, of the difference between uh, the profile of the time series, uh, that is y i, and the local trend uh, y tilde of i. So the profile of the time series of the input time series x i is obtained uh, based on uh, the cumulative sum um, of the time series, and the local trend is obtained, uh, or local trend or slow osc oscillations in the background are obtained by dividing the time series in equal sized segments and then fitting the quadratic, quadratic curve on each of those six segments. As a result, the, the, the scaling exponent informs, not only informs about the strength um, of long range correlation in a time series, but it also hints at the degree of smoothness of the fluctuations within the time series. Because of these desirable properties, DFA has found various applications in, um, um, in diverse fields, which includes biomedical signal analysis, fault diagnosis, and signal denoising, uh, to say the least. In denoising, uh, DFA is used in combination with variational mode decomposition that is generally used to decompose an input signal into its intrinsic mode functions, whereby 
PFA was used to select the, uh, the int uh, intrinsic mode functions uh, 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 corresponding to signal and reject those corresponding to noise. A multivariate generalization of uh, DFA has also been developed um, in six, where a straightforward generalization of the uh, root mean square function uh, was obtained based on L2 norm. Um, however, this generalization fails to take into account the correlation across channels, which is a central concept um, in uh, processing multivariate signals. It also fails to cater for the unevenness of the various cross channels. So to address this issue, we, uh, we define Melanobis distance as a generalized vector norm uh, given in five, uh, because it not only satisfies all the properties of a vector norm, but it also considers the cross channel dependencies and eliminates the various bias across dimensions. This fact is also shown in, um, in the figure below where uh, Melanobis distance shown using the um, red line um, is uh, computed after all the points have been rescaled uh, after various normalization and consideration of the cross channel dependencies into a unit circle while Euclidean distance is, is computed uh, uh, from the original point and that um, uh, uh, original point where various bias is still present. So the, uh, the fact that Melanobis norm is a generalization of L2 norm is further um, stressed using these three cases where we first consider um, the covariance matrix as an identity matrix and show that the Melanobis uh, uh, norm reduces to Euclidean norm uh, in the first case, where in the sec second case, we take a covariance matrix as a diagonal matrix. And in that case, it can also be seen that Melanobis norm reduces to um, uh, Euclidean norm of the uh, normalized uh, vectors denoted by uh, Z bar. And in the final case, it can uh, again be seen that uh, Melanobis distance is uh, a generalized form of the Euclidean distance, or in other words, Euclidean uh, norm is a special case of the Melanobis norm. Based on the discussion uh, before, we now propose a generic multivariate detrended fluctuation analysis uh, method for multivariate time series. Uh, so based on this uh, discussion, we now propose a generic multivariate detrended fluctuation analysis based on Melanobis distance. There we develop this um, novel root mean square a uh, function given in nine based on Mahlanobis distance. Um, that is subsequently used to obtain uh, uh, the scaling exponent uh, in 11. We now propose a multivariate uh, signal denoising method based on MVMD and GMDFA. Uh, in this, method, we use multivariate variational mode decomposition, that is MVMD, to obtain multi-scale representation, where input signal XI is decomposed into intrinsic mode functions, UKI, uh, and, uh, uh, and, the uh, and the input signal XI can be reconstructed by just adding the, uh, uh, the int intrinsic mode functions. So these intrinsic mode functions can further be de uh, categorized into uh, signal only modes um, and the modes with predominant noise. So, uh, uh, so we use proposed GMDFA to detect and reject the predominantly 
noisy modes and that leads to reconstruction of the um, uh, of the T noise signal based on the uh, remaining modes. So in order to do that, we apply GMDFA on each mode um, and then we plot the resulting um, uh, scaling exponents and, uh, and, and the index K1 is obtained by observing the slope uh, between the consecutive uh, nodes and uh, the point of highest slope uh, leads to the detection of the index K1, which in this case is uh, uh, four. Um, so now we demonstrate a uh, few simulation results to validate the performance of our methods. Firstly, we, we compare the performance of GMDFA against the existing multi-channel DFA. On the left side, we uh, plot uh, uh, first 100 iterations of both methods, where it is clear that um, GMDFA uh, not only uh, has a much lesser standard deviation, uh, but it also uh, the its simulations are much closer uh, to the uh, central blue line um, uh, that is ground truth compared to the other method. And in this figure on the right side, we demonstrate the effect of cross correlation on um, uh, on the final uh, scaling exponent values. So again, it is clear that. Uh, with increase in the cross correlation, the performance of the proposed method uh, improves significantly. And now we uh, demonstrate the performance of the proposed denoising method. Uh, so in this experiment, we uh, this input noise signal um, is generated at 10 dB, um, um, and in this case, we are using the so far signal, which is which has these subtle variations. Uh, so the comparative methods, as can be observed, um, obtain a very poor uh, estimate of the original signal um, that is shown in dark black here, um, whereas the proposed uh, method obtains a very good estimate of the original signal, um, uh, which is much better than the, these two comparative methods. Now we uh, demonstrate the quantitative results where again it is uh, clear that uh, uh, proposed method obtains a much better uh, estimate of the output signal um, and that is apparent from the uh, output SNRs uh, in each case. So now I'm going to uh, conclude uh, this presentation. Uh, so in this work, we propose a generic multi-channel extension of 1D DFA uh, based on Maranobis distance um, that uh, takes into account um, uh, cross-channel correlations and also caters for the variance bias um, that leads to a much uh, uh, better that leads to much in, uh, much closer estimate of the first exponent compared to the traditional MDFA. And also the proposed method has also been used to develop a, um, a multivariate signal denoising method that has shown to be the state of the art method. So these are uh, the references and thank you so much.